After Bhutto's regime, the urban policy changed in significant ways. So, when Ziyar took over, he focused less on labor and landless and peasants and more on middle class. Moreover, rather than looking at public sector to provide major housing facilities, it focused it, its efforts to provide concessions to the private sector so that, that it can provide housing facilities for the public. These changes were, of course, linked with politics. The poor, landless, labor, they all supported Bhutto, while it was conservative middle classes who partially supported Zia. Businesses also supported Zia as compared to poor and labor. So, in providing concessions to the business, the Zia was actually paying back the loan the, for the support it received from the businesses and from the middle classes. There was also pressure from the World Bank and IMF. And it was during this time that for the first time government of Pakistan went to the IMF to seek some concession and to seek help from the IMF in dealing with the exchange rate crisis. The fifth five-year plan which started from 1978 and ended in 1983 continued some of the Bhutto's policies, such as site development for housing, improvement in slums, and provision of civic communities. But the role of public sector was decreased. In the seventh five-year plan, which started in 1988 to 1993, it allocated 20 billion rupees for fiscal planning and housing. In 1986, Prime Minister Junejo came up with his five-point plan, plan, one of which was housing. The National Housing Authority was also established during this era to help improve the housing facilities and to decrease the backlog of housing in Pakistan. In the late 1990s, we have Nawaz Sharif's Mera Ghar scheme again focused on providing low-cost housing to the people. Some local initiatives were also executed during this tenure and the most famous and the most successful of these was the Orangi pilot project which started in the 1980s. And in, the, in this project, a slum with its own help and through the help of the community developed a sewerage system, an extensive sewerage system by itself. From sewerage system, the Orangi pilot project then moved to other civic communities and it was so successful that now it's considered a model of self-help community development all over the world. Another initiative of the government was matching grants program. So if the local council, local town can raise some money, the federal government can provide loan or provide grant to local council so that it can build a water scheme or any other civic community. However, inefficiency and corruption hindered this scheme from being effective. In the 1980s and 90s, there was an increasing shortfall of housing as population growth increased and the middle class also increased and it demanded housing. However, with this Increase in demanding housing, we also see 
that house building became a major booming industry and government departments and cooperative societies started hundreds of schemes. Defense housing scheme became a major cash cow for the military. During these eras from 1980s to 1990s, there were the land became highly speculative, land mafias emerged, and marketing prices increased so much that a small house became unaffordable, not only for the poor, but the, for the middle and professional crisis. Thank you.